In this video, we take a look at another underused Serato DJ feature. This time, we take a look at relocating lost files. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the relocate lost files function in Serato DJ. You can also find this in Serato Scratch Live as well. So if you've ever gone in your Serato DJ library and scrolled through and you find some songs highlighted like this with a question mark as well as uh, it being a different color, this means that the file is missing. As you can see right down here at the bottom, it says file not found. So if you open the middle panel right here to the files section, you'll see this relocate lost files button. Now what this does is sometimes Serato loses sync of where your songs are in your library. Maybe you've moved them, maybe you accidentally renamed a folder or just moved around some files and Serato doesn't know where those files are on your computer anymore. So using this relocate lost files function will put those back in sync and let Serato know where the songs are so you'll be able to access them again when using Serato DJ. So let me give you an example. So I'm going to go ahead and close this panel. I just downloaded a couple of new songs from Headliner Music Club. I'll go ahead and add this to my library right here. And as you can see, just added these four songs. <clears throat> and currently these songs are in my downloads folder. So I can load whatever and they play fine. Notice they're still highlighted in white. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and close Serato DJ real quick. And then for the sake of this example, I'll go ahead and move these files to a different folder right now. They're just on my desktop. And then I'll go ahead and reopen Serato DJ. So Serato DJ is opening again. Now if I try to play the song again, see how it turned orange? Because it's lost the connection from the actual downloads folder where it originally was because I moved it. But to solve that, what I could do is I could open the files panel. I know it's on my desktop, so I can highlight this folder and just drag it onto relocate lost files. Oh. And now that song's found again. So easy as that. All you have to do is make sure you know what folder the music is in now and drag it to this relocate lost files button and it should find it. One caveat to that is that if you're not sure what folder it is, say it's nested in a bunch of different folders. So for example, I have this music folder and all these subfolders underneath it. If I load this music, if I drag this music folder to the relocate lost files button, it's going to search through all of these folders as well. So it might take a little bit more time, but if you have an idea that the songs might be in there, but not the exact folder, uh, you might be able to find it that way. So it's better to do it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's better. It's faster to do it if you know exactly what folder it's in. But if it's in like a subfolder like that and you have a general idea, you can drop that onto the relocate lost files button and it will probably pick it up. It just might take a little bit more time. So that's a look at how to use the relocate lost files function in Serato DJ. So question today, do you lose files in Serato DJ? And if so, what do you do about it? Go and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.